Hi everyone, this is me, Pana, once again, your Renaissance woman. I hope you all are doing well. I am an influencer, not an entertainer. I try to make videos that might help others in bringing in a positive change in your life. I have made some positive changes which has helped me in my life, so I thought I should share the same with others too. Recently, I have posted a, a poll regarding oil on different social medias, trying to find out what the majority of the population is using. I have uh, posted in non-Asian groups and uh, I came to know that majority of them are using olive oil for their regular day in day out cooking. And my close network of uh, friends uh, are saying they use canola oil, which is a shocker for me because canola oil ranks at the bottom. It's the most dangerous oil. I'm not sure many of us really focus on uh, the health benefits and the dangers of what we consume. But when I came across, I thought I should share with you all. Canola oil is developed in Canada just 30 to 40 years before, and it undergoes a vigorous um, chemical extraction process where solvents are used to extract these oils. Now, and also it uses high temperatures to extract these oils. The, the, the oils are not readily available. So that makes it really bad for our consumption. So I would suggest avoid canola oil if it is say, not saying it's organic. I would certainly try to minimize uh, the use of canola oil because these are highly refined oils, go through a, a rigorous chemical extraction process and the plant itself is highly gene manipulated. So I would really try to avoid, but if you get hold of cold pressed, organic, non-GMO canola oil, you're good to use it, but it is very expensive for sure. Now, I am also guilty of using canola oil. I do not deny. I have been using it for some time, I, but I have reduced the usage now. I only use it for uh, deep frying anything, which also is quite rare in my case because I bought myself an air fryer, which is an excellent addition to my kitchen. The next I would like to talk to you all about is ghee, clarified butter. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. Many Indian moms use lots and lots of ghee to feed their babies, assuming that ghee would fatten up their babies because we all love chubby babies, right? But guess what? Recent research shows that ghee can also help in weight loss. In ancient Ayurveda, ghee is used because ghee can fight the inflammation in the body and it's also helpful for our gut health. I make my own ghee. Anything I can make at home, I try to do it. I avoid buying from outside because uh, what I make, I know what goes in and it's all natural. I just get unsalted butter and I just make my own ghee. It stays at least for two to three months and I use it up and then I make a, new, a fresher batch. Let's talk about avocado oil. This is gaining popularity these days. And I have started using avocado oil because uh, it has a neutral taste to it. So I use this for my Indian cooking. It has a high smoke point. So it's ideal for uh, stir frying, sauteing as well. It's actually good for deep frying as well. But as I said, I cannot be using um, avocado oil for deep fry because it is expensive. Doesn't uh, suit my pocket. If, but if you can afford it, please. It, this is the best choice that you have for deep frying. Also, avocado oil is considered uh, to increase the HDL, which is the good cholesterol in your blood and helps in reducing uh, the LDL, which is the bad cholesterol. Also considered uh, to help in your skin uh, uh, health and also for uh, lowering your BP. This, I only looked in uh, several other websites which say so. Not my personal experience, but that's what it is about. So I would recommend avocado oil to all of you. If you can afford, I would say go for organic, non-GMO, cold pressed. These are the three key terms that you have to look for it. Unfortunately, what I got is only non-GMO. It doesn't say it is organic 
and it doesn't say it is cold pressed but this was what I could uh, find so I went for this but the best choice for you all is organic non-gmo and cold press that's the one that you have to go for let's talk about coconut oil coconut oil was used for our hairs back in India we've never used it for cooking at least not in my house lately I have started uh, doing a lot of things with coconut in my house I've used it uh, I use it for cooking and I also use it uh, in my body butter that I make it at home. And I also made a video of, about the same. I'm going to uh, put the link up there. Coconut oil has a lot of benefits. I understand it has been defamed in the past couple of years. But if you dig a little more deeper, you will find out that it helps in Alzheimer's. It helps in the, the liver health. It helps in lowering the blood pressure and lots more to it. I use cold pressed extra virgin coconut oil this is uh, from Costco that I got and uh, I really like it I use it for cooking and I also use it for the body butter as I told you I would suggest using uh, coconut oil for baking purposes as well you can use uh, you can replace uh, coconut oil for butter and I think it's an excellent option now about olive oil olive oil has lots and lots of benefits I have so many good things to talk about it has lot of antioxidants vitamin E vitamin K it has anti-inflammatory properties you know the leading uh, cause for the diseases like cancer Alzheimer's type 2 diabetes these are all because of inflammation and olive oil has anti-inflammatory properties I use a lot of olive oil in my salad dressings I make my own salad dressings because I do not like to buy from the stores uh, because they hardly ever have olive oil in uh, the salad dressings and the one that I use is from Costco this is organic cold pressed non-gmo and I think this is the best oil in the market and I love using this let's talk about oil sprays we all use oil sprays for convenience sake so that we could use as less as possible because oils are considered bad for us but have you ever digged deep into it what does an oil spray contain I did not do it ever I recently started looking into it and I have learned that there are propellants used which are hydrocarbons which help in the even distribution of uh, the oil when we spray it now obviously uh, hydrocarbons are not good for us and that should be avoided now oil sprays which are propellant free are good for you and if you can find non-gmo non-gmo uh, non and organic it's um, it's the one that you have to go to but I have gone in and uh, looked for a few options and there were not many the one that I am using at home I was uh, looking at this I'm using a canola oil bottle the only thing I was happy about is this is non-gmo but it doesn't say it's organic though so partly it's okay but still I am not so happy about it, it doesn't mention anything about propellant I guess um, only if it is propellant free that's when it mentions propellant free I'm going to show you a video of uh, uh, me going into different grocery stores to uh, check out what are the available oils and uh, the oil sprays as well to uh, show you what we have available here in Canada now not many options are uh, there here so then what I came up with this idea of uh, just buying myself uh, um, a bottle and um, a bottles a spray and I can fill up whatever oil I want so this is what I did I bought myself one from Amazon and I filled up with the oil that I want and I'm using this for my dosas it's very helpful this bottle I'm going to toss it very soon and I'm never going to buy another one
these are all the oils that I use in my household. I did not want to hide anything from you all. So that's why I also mentioned that I do use canola oil, which is uh, bad. Uh, I use it for deep frying. The best oils are uh, avocado oil, olive oil, coconut oil, and clarified butter. I always look for the labels. Go for organic, non-GMO, cold-pressed oils when possible. I would say avoid canola oil, corn oil, soybean oil. And I would also say uh, avoid peanut oil until unless you can find organic because peanuts are something which, go, which grow underground. So there are lots of uh, pesticides are used which are absorbed by the ground. And uh, I would say try to avoid peanut oil if you do not find organic. Okay, folks, that's about it. I'm going to wrap up my video here. I really hope you all liked my video. If you have more information about other oils, I would like to know. Please post it in the comments. I am always open for learning. Don't forget to like my video and share my video because sharing is caring. Others should also know about the good and bad oils which we are using. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I am planning on making more good and useful videos. Also, the most important, don't forget to press that bell icon so that you will be notified when I make another new video on my channel. Okay, until the next video, love you all.